Hello, welcome. I'm Ruben Covington, and today I'm here with another game of Custom Magic Standard, also known as Custard. Uh, this is in conjunction with the uh, Custom Magic Discord channel. I'm here with playing up against Sol Invictus. Say hello. Hi. And uh, yeah, so we just recently finished uh, our tournament, and this is just a a regular game uh, while we wait for the next uh, rotation. So uh, let's uh, go here. I'm gonna roll 19 and win the die roll. Go first. All right. I will keep this hand. Yeah, I will. Uh, this. keep. Excellent. Uh, well, I am going to start with a lava roots coming in tapped and uh, in the turn. Just going to increase the image size and touch so that. Okay. So I am mm. playing a red green. Drowned catacomb comes down. Yep. Here we go. Here's an interesting question Is it drowned catacomb or catacomb? I thought it was pronounced catacomb. Okay. I mean, I could. Well, believe either way. Uh, I've always said catacomb, but uh, yeah, I'm I am well aware I might be wrong. Uh, I will tap two mana, red and a green, for a Qualana, Mother of Pyromancy. It's a two-two. Sure. You can tap to add red, or you can three and tap to create a one-one red and green shaman creature token with haste that has tap to add red. A cute little mana dork that can also be a token generator that can also be a kind of nasty threat if you leave it around too long. Yeah. I mean, it's a, and it's a bear. And it's a bear. Okay, Twisted Mercy, minus three, minus three. Yep, she did. Farewell. So we got a Salta, some sort of Salta deck here. Um, I'm going to play another Lava Root that's coming in tapped, and then play another Quilana. Oh. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I'm playing a uh, red green mid range. Uh, my opponent yeah, cultiv lamps. playing cultivate. Sure, it's the reprint. It's okay. So mm. an island onto the battlefield tapped, and something else to your hand. And an island to your hand, no problem. That's scary. So that probably means he's gone for some sort of soul confluence deck, which because he wants the triple blue, uh, which is a little worrying. But um, okay, okay, so cool. I'm gonna go Forest Tap for Garrick Wild Speaker. Uh sure. Uh minus one to create a free free beast. Sending sure. him down to two yep. loyalty. And I'm gonna attack you for two with Quilana. And pass the turn. I didn't quite have enough mana there to like Play Garrick, untap lands, play a shaman. Uh, Divination. Okay. Divination, sure. And all the bit of goodie. Draw two cards. You are on eight cards. You will need to hey, this card the hand size unless you play that island in your hand. Um. Actually, can I Twisted Mercy the Beast? Okay, and no problem. Farewell, Beast. Hardly knew. Um. Okay. So. Okay. 
I'm gonna make another beast. Oops, sorry. Remove, I meant to remove canvas. Sure. I will then. Yeah, play a forest. Tap three to make a shaman. Sure. Move haste. Um, yep. Hmm. Do I attack? No. Just gonna pass the turn. So this could be very bad for me if uh, Solon Victor has Soul Confluence. Sadly but not. Divination, okay. Drawing cards, and I'm fine with. I'm not exactly putting a ton of pressure on you. So we're playing as if it's the the new hideaway, correct? Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, so there's been a recent changes to the dual hideaway lens in the format, where uh, instead of playing the card for free, it uh, puts the hand into your it puts the card into your hand, which is um, a lot fairer, because <laughs> having dual lands that also gave you card advantage and mana advantage was kind of absurd. Um, oh, it's it's totally absurd. I mean, like there's still really strong. Yeah, there is. They still draw you draw your card with like, you know, but not, and not just like a random card. They draw you like a card of your choice of the top four, and it's like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's more and, than anticipate. And they don't sacrifice themselves. Yeah, like colorless anticipate that you just have to wait a little while for. Um, yeah. It's not colorless, it fixes you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> better than colorless. Anyway, um, oh, sorry, uh, with the free mana, I wanted to incendiary revel you to the face. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I was uh, too busy talking about the Hardaway lens. <laughs> sure. Um, okay. Hmm. Tap three, and I'm gonna make another token. Sure. I'm going to untap two lands. I'm going to play a lush mesa. Sure. And then I'm going to attack you for five. And pass the turn. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Soul Confluence. Holy moly. So, <laughs> reveal the top five cards yeah. of your library, and opponent separates this card. You don't actually have to be that scared, is the thing. Yeah. I mean, Cause... having C's tomorrow... Uh... Okay, fall from grace. This is not a deck that's full of high-impact cards. <laughs> well, like why not? Reason <laughs> um, the reason Soul Confluence was so terrifying from Roche is that you knew that at least a few of those cards were able mm. to win the game on their own. Well, the thing is, with Seize Tomorrow, right, is that, like, you basically get time to play the cards that you, uh, as in that you draw. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> okay, so it is Seize Tomorrow in one pile, 
false step and poison water hole in another pile and fall from grace and cultivate in the third pile um yeah sure so now you get to choose a pile to play for free a pile to put into your hand yeah i know how the card works yeah, yeah no, i'm card. doing it for people who right. yeah, sorry sorry <laughs> yes so bringing up the card here so it is like a super duper uh version of fact or fiction where one of the where That's it's free the extra turn okay so you, not the storm counter so you're playing you're having an extra turn yep got it yep okay no problem no response uh, i guess i'm gonna play a wooded basin okay Oh, sorry. Which uh, two cards did you put in your hand? The, the land and oh, the. Oh, I put the false step and the land in okay. my hand. So false step. Uh, let me just bring up. So false step is instant. Uh, two black black instant destroy target creature or planeswalker. If it's the source of any activated or triggered abilities, cancel those abilities. Okay. It's yep. Like, Take your it's next step. Actually, deal with planeswalkers. Yeah. So we deal with planeswalkers without them getting even a single activation because it counters the activation. Uh, I'm going to discard a blight undergrowth. No problem. Hand to hand size. Um. And so your seize tomorrow exiles itself. Yeah. Oh right, my bed. Uh. So don't worry, I do not have Narset in the deck. <laughs> that would be so dumb. Yup. 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 Four. Seven. Um. So mm -hmm. okay, dirty work. dirty work. Yep. Um Can I give you tokens? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh okay. Full step. Kills Garrick, Teddy Work kills Kulana, yep. At the end of your turn, I'm going to incendiary roll you in the face for four. Um, so. Do you have a haste creature? <laughs> or lava like roots thing? tapped? No. <laughs> Uh, start combat. Attack you to one, and uh, in res before damage, Ranger's Guile my beast. <laughs> what the heck? Quite. <laughs> also, you're at least for me. The heck? Why is? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, some CC18 cards just aren't showing up for me. Weird. Weird. Well, Range of Skull is a reprint. It's plus one plus one in Hexproof for single mana. Uh, I know what it does, yeah, yeah. but... Yeah. Okay. Ooh, game number one. So... Yep, okay. So you're like some sort of roach variant uh, with the new dirty work. <laughs> roach minus good, minus good card. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so I gotta... Yeah, I got Hug Storm. Yeah. So, yep, Incendiary Revel's a pretty good card against you. Um, <laughs> kind of interesting what I bring in against you here. Um, like, definitely some of these. Definitely one of these. Definitely not one of these. I take out some of these. 
I wish I'd said this before because uh, now it just you know sounds like I'm hmm. winding things back, but I'm not very confident in this deck. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. I'm like not super confident, and in... I don't know. My deck's a bit weird. Like, yeah, my deck has some like individually strong cards, but also it's just like a bit strange. Uh, oh, I definitely don't want these. These can go away. Yup. I was like so worried you were gonna have like some sort of board wipe or like <laughs> some sort of huge effect that I like wasn't there. Do no way. Like, as an even like a Nido's miasma there would have wrecked me. I would have been so sad about it. Yes. <laughs> uh, I will. Well, actually, no, I actually wouldn't have been that bad, because I had mana up the whole time for Ranger's Guile, so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I will draw my hand and keep this. Sure. Oh, fall. this is an interesting decision. <laughs> no problem. I will play a mountain pass the turn. Okay. Now he did you bring in essence scatters? This is the question. <laughs> Rooming list. Resolves. Oh, oh, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get to draw a card and gain one life. Ah, it's so good. Uh, you're assuming I intend to ever kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I assume you want to kill my creatures, like. Okay. I'm I'm not a control deck. I'm a, I'm a really weird ramp deck. I guess. I'm I'm actually serious. Yeah, but like you kind of rely on dirty work Wait, a lot want... to stabilize. No, I don't want that. Sorry. <sighs> okay, so swamp to the field and forest to your hand. Yep. Yes. Cool. Um start combat, hit you for two. Yeah. Feel the burn. Um tap free play wasteland acklet. Sure. It's a two free hexproof. It's oh, nice. not literally a creature, it's it's a way of counting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so you've, you've got four uh, lands of unique names. Yep. Just because Unassuming Falls is a... Yeah. Okay, so... Play Forest. Start combat, attack you for four. Okay. In phase two, Garrick Wildspeaker. Mm -hmm. Results? Results. Okay, I'm going to plus one. Untapping two lands. Oh, and you, you're going <laughs> to. Okay, okay, false step. So, counters, I think. Sure. Fair enough. Uh, end. 
Yep, full staff is a good answer to plant horse. Okay, excellent. There's uh, new primers up for the two sets. Yes, I am quite interested to look at the Dehoram one. Because mm -hmm. I'm only vaguely familiar with the set. Cultivates. Okie dokie. And I'm forced to go back on what I said earlier. <laughs> Killing it. I gain one life and draw a cut. Why, thank you. Yep. I'm just going to pop this right now because there's no reason for me to So you have up to five types of land? Yeah. Uh, I count. Yeah, five. Okay, what's it in my graveyard? Okay. Um, sure, I'm going to play a mountain. Tap to Shaman of the Cycle. So, target creature sure. card in my graveyard gains Resurrect until end of turn. Resurrect costs equal to mana cost. Resurrect mean it comes back, but we have a plus one plus one counter and again it gets exiled. And it's snap creature mage. Yep. Snap creature mage indeed. It coming back with a plus one plus one counter. Crazy good. Um so free free running litus. I got my two on shaman. I will hit you for two with my acklet. And then pass the turn. Yes, this deck has got the full four Shaman of the Cycle because the card's really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. um. mm. Almost wish I hadn't cracked the wilds. Would have given me another mm. name. That's six. Yeah. Okay, so oh, confluence. No, I can do this. Yeah, so you don't lose yeah. one life. Okay, let's see what you get. Rosalind's Viola. Another Soul Confluence. Memory sign, okay. And assuming falls. And watery depths. I am surprisingly okay with this. Um Okay, so Soul Confluence is going in its own pile. I gave them to you. you can oh, sorry, yeah, I can move them around. Uh, Rosalind's Viola is going with. Watery Depths. And Memory Side is going on Assuming Falls. Those are the three piles. Alright. Um. Good God, chaining Soul Confluence is kind of crazy. I'm going to be casting the viola pile, actually. Interesting. And the is going to go to my hand. Can you uh, sing yeah. it back my way? Interesting. Casting the viola pile. I guess you cast Twisted Mercy off of it? No, I re it's just that I want to save by Soul Confluence. Sure.
Okay, so... Seven, and incendiary rebel kills me. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I should have memorized for rebel. Uh, note that memorized side for rebel doesn't get rid of it. Oh right, because <laughs> you're in exile. Wait, yes, you have seven you have to exile, piff right? it. Yes, yeah, seven. For, you have to piffing needle it. <laughs> Which is awkward. God, that card. <laughs> yes. Why? I, I, yes, like, yes, I have been proving that that card's very good for a long time. Uh, I'm going to attack you for whatever this is. Uh, well, uh, you're just dead to rebel. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me open a better deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, thanks for the games. Uh, yeah, so that was custom standard. Uh, red green mid range versus uh, salt eye uh, roach. Yeah. No, it's it's not yeah. roach. What is roach it? Salt salt. Okay, salt eye. What salt confluence? Uh, I'm calling it storm, kind of in the tongue and cheek way. Um, mm. Okay. Because like it's it's only real win condition is like dirty work plus a bunch of spells. <laughs> okay, so salt eye dirty work, sure. Uh, let's, yeah, but uh, it just it doesn't reach that mega turn quick mm, enough. Mm, like yeah, you you were like deadling so much and like like yeah. if you 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 presented enough of a clock, and if you'd been an aggro deck, you'd been able to present even more of a clock. Yeah, and like I was uh, yeah, but like unlike an aggro deck, I wasn't just dead to Nito's miasma because I could you know have mm -hmm. things like uh, um, yeah, like Shaman of the Cycle, and I've got the Aklas and. Uh, yeah, and so my my four drops are Garrick Wildspeakers and Karoom's Ragefire Chieftains. <laughs> Karoom's kind of difficult to get rid of when he's a 4-5 for 4. Uh, yeah. And you can just be like, oh, I can pay 4 mana to make him deal 8 damage. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I brought in against you Degradations to kill your Dirty Works and Crimson Sealer to stop mm. your mana ramp and, a, and another Incendiary Rebel. Because Incendiary Rebels just... Yeah. Oh, and, and the Acolytes, obviously. Uh, I took out mm -hmm. I took out some Garrick Son of Racklands Quellags because you had no creatures for the second ability to work on and Pillar of, Fires, uh, Pillar of Flames. Sure. Okay. Uh, I can play more if you Yeah, can. yeah, I'm just going to stop the recording here. Yeah. Right. Thanks for watching, guys.